Hey, what's up? It's Jacoy, and you're watching a music blog. Yeah? I don't know. You figure it out. You find out soon. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Jacoy. Hello. Hey guys, how you doing? Good, how are you doing? I feel amazing. Do you want to say welcome back to Toronto? <laughs> yeah, I I'm honestly so happy to be here right now. I'm so glad that we're doing this. Yeah, it feels good. The energy in the city is like honestly amazing. People are, are you know, moving around just as like, you know, I, I, I miss the city and miss the energy of it. So I was like, I'm so glad to be a part of it again. Well, we have to kick things off by diving where you're living right now. Yes. California Heaven featuring Schoolboy Q is yes. now out. So what was it like putting this new single together? Uh, it was honestly crazy because it's like it happened just randomly. You know, we we're in the studio. We we're trying to figure out like, you know, what kind of vibe we we're going to go for because we started the record from scratch. You know, we worked on the record um, with the uh, the runners and Rico Love. Um, it's honest, It was honestly a crazy, crazy session. It was so dope. We had everybody in the studio just like vibing out and just you know like throwing ideas at each other at, at once. And it's like you know, I, Rico asked me and he was like, you know, what what's your story? Like you know, it's like who's Jukoi? Like how did you get discovered? And it was one of those things where it's like I was telling them I was like, dude, I came to you know LA from Toronto not having anything and I was just like telling my story, just kind of like getting it out and then we, we delivered in the song, you know, because when I went to LA, you know, I was starting to like find my purpose, you know, I was finding what was meant for me and, and what kind of things that I, I was interested in just because I was in a new environment and I was learning so much about myself at the same time. And so um, that that to me was like, it was finding heaven, you know, so that, that was uh, really where the record came from, it was just like finding my purpose was like heaven to me. So I was like, heaven must be somewhere in California, which is really dope, you know, because everybody takes like really good, everybody has great re reception of the record. And, you know, I honestly just, I, I, I hope to just keep pumping out great records like that. I totally get why you call your, your sound bipolar sound. Because when yeah. I hear it, there's like some electronic vibes, R&B, yeah. soul. So when yeah. you're putting it together, was that attributed to all the people you were listening to at the time? Is it maybe from all the different ideas that were being spewed out when putting uh, it together? Well, I listen to a lot of different artists. Right, myself, I listen to a, different, a lot of different genres. And because now we have this technology that helps us, you know, fuse different sounds, I want to be able to be a part of, you know, the movement that helps, you know, shape new genres. You know, I mean, I don't know how, 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 uh, how, uh, how old the history of like genres are, you know, but I want to like, you know, potentially even create new genres, you know, and, 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 and close the boundaries of, you know, being a part of one thing and not the other because it could potentially be both you know, in, in this world. And I feel like, you know, just with the music that I'm coming out with right now, I'm just coming out with a, a fresh new sound, you know, and, and I hope to get the, the, the listeners excited about what's going on. The cover for this record is so cool. It's a Japanese koi fish. And I know yeah. a few months back, you were trying to find a name for your fan base. Like, yeah. what do I call you? Yeah. So does that tie in together? Are you thinking of calling your fans koi fish now? What's the uh, significance I'm, behind that? I'm, I'm still not sure. The koi fish is honestly a play on my, my title, like my name. Yeah, of So course. it's just koi. And uh, I still, I, like, you know, the, the idea of the koi fish, we're still trying to figure out, like, what I was going to call my fans. If I was going to call them koi fish or koi bears. Like, there's <laughs> so many names, you know. And uh, I'm, I'm still figuring that part out. But <clears throat> the idea behind the, uh, the, the, the cover for the project was just kind of just to show the, the, the difference in, 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 in <clears throat> and being from Canada and, and, and coming to America with that energy. You've classified yourself before as a hopeless romantic, and a lot of your songs are about love. So I have a yes. couple of romantic questions for you. Okay. That your fans, <laughs> we reached out and were like, what would you like us to ask? And it's like, oh, maybe we'll dive into this. Okay. All right, so the first one is, have you always enjoyed a good love song? Oh, all the time. I love, I love love songs. So love songs, honestly, what brought me to be here today, you know? <clears throat> A lot of the records that I grew up listening to were, 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 were like love records and strictly love. You know, it's just talking about living in a moment forever, you know, opposed to living in the moment just now. Because I feel like a lot of the music today is like, <clears throat> it's forgetting about love, you know, and it's, it's losing the, the, the message and the meaning of like, you know, love songs. And so I definitely love a good love song. Yeah, I, I, I honestly prefer playing love songs than any other, like, kind of record no, definitely, ever definitely so I, I sit down through. play some love songs just for the hell of it <laughs> <laughs> and what's your ideal date or night out uh my ideal date or night out would have to be <clears throat> i have to go to the amusement park okay so we got to go on rides we got there's got to be some rides there's got to be like some really crazy 
loopy rides, like just, you know, out of this world kind of rides. I, I love going to Canada's Wonderland, yes. which is one of my favorite places of all time. It's like, even now there's new rides. I haven't, I haven't gotten a chance to go, but I hope to go sometime. Maybe next year, because I think it's closed now. But it's honestly, I, I love to go to amusement parks, maybe go for a movie. And I, I, I specifically love, like, outdoor movies. Okay, what is it? Like drive-ins? Drive-in. It's yeah. like, so it's like driving. Yeah, I love driving movies. Those movies are honestly amazing. It's like you, you get a different feel from being inside the actual theater and, and actually being outside and, you know, seeing this huge screen and you're in your car. And it's like, I, I feel like you also, too, you, you just get a different feel, different perspective on watching a movie. You know, it's, it's, it's like a different way of watching it. It's so cool. So I, I love going to an amusement park, watching a movie, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> like going to a park and watching a movie. That's it. The two things. That's yeah, all you need. That's it. That's all we really need. And after that, the rest is history. Whatever the night takes you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then just for the last one, do you have any advice for the hopeless romantics out there? Ooh, Ooh. that is very interesting. Do I have any advice? I would just say be yourself, you know. I'll, I'll be yourself because, and and and, and never and never like hide how you feel because I feel like now people are hiding how they feel. They're not they're not sure of, you know, how someone else is gonna take, uh, take take how anyone is gonna take their feelings if, if anyone's gonna care or anything, you know. But it's like if you got feelings, just let it out, express Put yourself, yourself out you know. There. Don't don't. Yeah, just be vulnerable, you know, don't be afraid to be you entirely, you know, if you feel like you need to hold back, you need to get out of that shell, get out of that shell, stop sitting in that <laughs> shell here, you know, no Franklin here, it's just, you know, get out there, just be you, and just be free, because I feel like that's a, a, a lot of people, are, uh, we're, we're, we're missing our freedom right now. That might be and one so. of my favorite comparisons, no Franklin. <laughs> yeah, no Franklin, yeah, man. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's so cool. I just love your do what you love mentality, whether it's yeah. the music or talking, just I can tell how passionate you are about everything. Yeah. So aside from music, what yeah. else do you put your heart into? What what else do you love doing? Uh on the side I like to collect jerseys. Okay. Yeah, it's not much of a passion, but it's just something that I love to do. I just I like to collect like basketball jerseys, baseball jerseys, hockey jerseys. Even though I don't play every sport, but I just yeah. love to collect the jerseys because the jerseys they have, you know, a just specific Art is like you know creating a jersey and and you know the logos behind them is like you know very artistic and creative, and so like you know I, I take that as like art. So I see it as you know a collective for me. I feel like those kind of things help me get into the zone. Well, let's have everything up today. Is there anything you want to say to all of your fans who will be viewing the interview? Uh, I, I honestly want to just say thank you so much for paying attention to me. And you know, this is everything is, is is like a dream come true right now. I can't believe that I'm 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 doing this right now, and this is so great. I'm so glad this is happening. My project's coming out, and you know, I have like I have Jeremiah on the record. I have uh, Boy Wonder, who is from Toronto, on the record. Uh, Rico Love, my buddy Mars uh, from LA, uh, is out there, and my buddy Nova. So it's like it's just it's honestly like the best the best piece of work that I ever could have put out. I've been working on it for two years, and I'm so excited that it's, it's finally coming out. Yeah. I, I just want to say congrats on the upcoming <laughs> release. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for sticking with us in this very sweaty room. Yeah, <laughs> right? We appreciate Except you though. taking the time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is awesome. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite artists. See you next time. Bye-bye. Hey. <laughs>